Hi everyone, it's Ashley here with La Bella Medusa Pythons and Constrictors. In today's video, I'm going to be showing off my little collection that I have of snakes. Um, get you guys introduced, let you know what I'm working with, what I'm hoping on working on in the future, and um, get some educational, informational, resourceful stuff going on on this channel. Um, to start with, my name is Ashley. Hello, hello. Here we have Oshun. She is a normal 100% head clown. Um, she is about a year old. Um, I've had her since she was maybe about... Hmm... I don't know, a few months, a few months, um, I'm looking for a, a, guy, a good partner for her, I did have one, his name was Shango, but he died of, um, mouth rot, I did everything I was supposed to, it just didn't, I don't know, he just, it didn't heal right or whatever, but, so that is Oshun, <clears throat> and then I have here my lovely... She likes to stay in this too. I'm not going to force her out, but this is Keisha. Here she comes. Yay! There's my Keisha. Keisha is a GHI yellow belly. GHI, gotta have it. Um, I got her from Repticon. Hi, baby. A few months ago. I think it was about a year ago I got her. Um, yeah, she is super terrific. Awesome. She is about a year old. Um, when I first got her, she still had her umbilicus. So that's Keisha, GHI Yellow Belly. And then. Jake is on another video. He's my male pinstripe. I have him. He's in the um, tank with my big mama. They were locked, so. And they are, um, Jake is a pinstripe, normal pinstripe, and big mama is a spider exanthic. So, some spinner exanthic, hopefully coming, or hit exanthic. Um, this here is Donatello. He is an orange dream fire. He is one of my sweeter males. One of the nice babies. Um, really good eaters. All of my snakes I feed live rats. They're all on live small rats. And um, I tried the frozen thawed. They didn't respond very well to them, which is why I do live feeding still and um they eat probably once a week maybe once every other week um this week they didn't eat because everybody just shed so nobody wanted to eat at this time and then i have this is k she is a pastel yellow belly and she is superbly phenomenal. I've had her since she was like a hatchling too. And just to watch them grow, they get so big and lovey. I can't wait to pair her with um, Donatello. Hopefully. But you never know what the pairings may go or how everything may go. But she's about to go in the shed as you can see. But that brown is going to, it's the pastel. That makes them this nice, dark, dingy looking color. <laughs> but she's superb. One of my faves. You guys will see them more on the channel. Yay! Alright, and then we have Horace. Oh, Horace got a little stuck shed up there. Alright, um, Horace is a 100% hip pied, and he has his pied, look at those good trackers, yes, really good, really good, 
he is going to be making some pretty pods with my pretty mama right here. This is Isis. So I have Horace and Isis. They are both 100% head pods. Um, I would love to give a shout out to who I got them from, but at this time I can't remember. Um, I don't know if it was Anaheim Reptiles or 818. Um, I think I did get these from 818 Reptiles. Mm -hmm. Um, my clowns or my, I think I got Donatello from Classy Reptiles, Morph Market. I, Morph Market is my best friend. Mm -hmm. That and Repticon. I go to all of the Repticon, um, conventions here in Jacksonville. And that's where I pick up a lot of my babies too. Good deals when you go to the, um, to the shows like that. But these are my head pods. Um, hopefully I can't wait till they start mating. And then we have some nice, pretty, pretty pods on the channel. Woo, woo, woo. Elkily dokily. So now that we've seen all of them, go back in there, baby. Next is Hank. Hank the stanky snakey. This is Hank. Hank is a normal 100% um, orange ghost. He's still so small. Like, he's just getting to the point of putting on weight and stuff. But he's pretty awesome. As you can see, all of my cool babies. Yes, indeedy. Say hello. He is. Um, since I recently found out that... Hypo and or a ghost and orange ghost are compatible morphs. He um, will be breeding to hopefully maybe I can prove her out to be um, ghost because she is 66% head hypo and um, a dinker, which is her mom was an African import. So we're not quite sure as to what exactly she may have in her, but she does have a funky ass pattern. Like I always thought she was sweet. Maybe she just looks normal, but to me, I don't know. Something about her just stands out and says, I'm different just a little bit. <laughs> but these are, that's Hank, my 100% head orange ghost, and Big Fee. That's my phoenix right there. As you can see, she's comfortable. This is where she stays. I guess she'll stay out for the rest of the video if I... Yep. Here we go. All right. And Dane. Come on, Fee. Go back home, Mama. Thank you. She's so big. All right. And then we have my spice box. My little spicy mama right here. This here is Butterscotch. Butterscotch. She is not nice, but she is nice. She is full inchy. And as you can see, that beautiful color on her. She, this is why we call her Butterscotch. Because she is a freaking adorable. But she is mean like the Powerpuff Girl. She's a fast meatball. Isn't that right, mama? But yeah, as you can see, the colors on her and such. Oh, get a close-up. Yeah, I really like her. Like, Inchi is my favorite. And that yellow, I don't know if the camera's picking it up good, but see all of that in there? Yes, indeed. She's so nice. You guys will see more of her, too. Growing along with the channel. As we grow together, we get to watch all the pretty babies grow up and have babies. And you guys can buy my babies. Add them to your collection and say, hey, I got a piece of LaBella Medusa with me now. This here is my royalty. She is a boa constrictor, the imperial lol 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 um super awesome like that red tail is so super clean 
she just shed not too long ago, so she's a little hungry. I think they all are. It'll be feeding time soon. So, like, um, in the comments, let me know what do you guys want to see on this channel? Like, what kind of questions would you have for me um, in regards to snakes? I know that my videos, I'm going to put out a few, although there's a million and one, on, you know, taking care of them, how to feed them, how to keep them, how to clean them, what to do. We'll watch them grow. We'll answer questions that you guys may have. We'll take trips and journeys and see, like I'm going to Repticon in October. So we're definitely going to be shooting. You guys can see how I pick my snakes, what snakes I like and everything. But um, this here is, uh, yep, royalty. You'll be seeing her a lot also. Like, I think I'm going to have her out for like a majority of the videos. But she's so active. She just likes to be everywhere. She just loves to be everywhere. Isn't that right? Yeah, she can do it. Mm. And I love her black tongue. Like, she's so different from a regular python. Well, she is a boa constrictor, but her tongue is black and she does more subtle flickings. <laughs> hey, don't laugh at your mother. They're all into it watching me record right now. All right, butterscotch. Um. Then I have, this is Paul. Everybody say hi, Paul. Paul Cafaro is his name because we think Paul Cafaro is super awesome, so we named the snake after him. Shout out to Paul Cafaro. Woo woo. Um, he is a banana pinstripe, and the older he gets, He's starting to get those ugly little, well, I'm not going to call them ugly, but those beautiful little melanated freckles all down his torso. The older he gets, the more freckles he'll have because um, that's the banana in him. He is to be a female maker. So hopefully he is a female maker. And I'll find that out eventually. In but, a few years. Yeah. Well, no. For boys, it don't take that long for them to reach maturity. A few weeks. No, it takes a few months. But let's see. Ew. Pop in the tail. So, Frozen. anyway. I'm not going to pop it again. That's going to be another video. And last but not least, we have here my duchess. My duchess. This is my duchess. She is a queen bee, which is a pastel, um, oh my god, pastel spider lesser. <laughs> I got it. Super. She's, um, know if she's winning the shed but as you can see just like k she has that uh that dingy dark from the pastel running across the dorsal of her back so those are all my babies hope you guys did enjoy this video tell me more about jake like how you thought things would go and what I really did. Um, Jake, I I would show you guys him. I'll show him next video. I'm not going to interrupt him right now. Um, I might be able to edit it where I put piece of their recordings on there. But um, he, I thought he was a girl because he gained weight so rapidly. Which, I mean, he wasn't really. He is a great eater. But he gained weight so rapidly that... <laughs> I legit thought he was a girl and I had to take him to Extreme Exotics here in Jacksonville and um, get him tested, like get him probed to see if he was legitimately a boy or not. And good thing he is a boy because now he's making me some babies. Yes. So hopefully, um, hopefully.
hopefully, hopefully, I'll have some babies. Then I'll be able to talk about a clutch, have my first clutch to post about. Yay! So exciting. So, it was such a pleasure. I hope you guys enjoyed this video again. Because my baby wanted to kind of see him. He wanted to kind of throw me off track by saying, mention Jake. <laughs> Subscribe, like, I hope that I see you next time. Have a great one, guys. LaBella Medusa out.